Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Welcome to this nightly Al Jannah message. We have been reflecting on the verses of Surah Al Baqarah. Yesterday, we started to talk about the verses relating to Bani Israel, Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, Fir'aun, and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed Bani Israel and helped them and facilitated them. We mentioned that these verses are there as a reminder for us about some of the errors of the previous uh, generations. And it's there to guide us, to prevent us from making those errors. In this, uh, in this uh, discussion, we'll be talking only about three short ayahs. The first of which is Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. وَإِذْ وَاعَدْنَا مُوسَىٰ أَرْبَعِينَ لَيْلَةً ثُمَّ اتَّخَذْتُمُ الْعِجْلَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ وَأَنْتُمْ ظَالِمُونَ This is the ayah in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us that Hazrat Musa alayhi salam was called away for seclusion for 40 nights. Arba'ina means 40, laylam is nights. And Allah ta'ala tells us what his what his tribe did when he left them. مِنْ بَعْدِهِ وَعَنْتُمْ ظَالِمُونَ What they did is they started to worship other than Allah. So when the messenger left them, left their presence, they went into sin and it was a very deep sin. The next ayah is how Allah responded to that sin. And this is an ayah of huge mercy. Allah says, ثُمَّ عَفَوْنَا عَنْكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ even though they did that, Allah says, I forgave them. Allah says, I forgave them because of His mercy. And Allah says, I forgive them because so that they can become grateful. So we as Muslims should always be asking for Allah's forgiveness and thanking Him for His mercy. This is the message from this ayah. And the last verse we will discuss today is وَإِذْ أَعْطِيْنَا مُوسَى الْكِتَابَ وَالْفُرْقَانَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَحْتَدُونَ Allah says, I gave Musa a book, kitaba, wal-furqana. Now, it could have been enough to say al-kitab. I gave Musa the scripture. I gave Musa the text. But the word wal-furqan is used. And this is an important word because this is also a name of the Holy Qur'an. This is a name of the Holy Qur'an. So it's important we know what furqan means. Furqan means to be able to distinguish, to be able to discern right from wrong. This is why, uh, Hufaz Kiram and respectable congregation, the Quran is there to be read, it is there to be listened to, but it's also there to be understood. And so it's important that as students of Al Jannat or as students of Masjid Al Jannat, all of you should have at home a translation of the Holy Quran, just at least to give you some familiarity, so that the Quran becomes just from a kitab to al furqan for you as well. Yeah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us through this ayah, through this blessed verse, to, if we don't have one already, to purchase a copy of the Quran, to purchase a translation of the Quran, and to start committing ourselves to reading small sections of it in a language that we understand, inshallah. Wa ma'alayna illa al